So how do you go from this garish nightmare to something that looks like this? It's a little more presentable. I know I'm oversimplifying here, but first you get the shell off of it, so it looks something like this. And we're going to forget about the tender for the time being. That's a whole other project. And through the miracle of photography, you're going to want to cut this off of the front end. And you're going to want to cut this off the back. So you end up with something that looks a little like that. And there's a whole procedure that I'll show you in another video about how to rearrange uh, the linkage and get this thing to run well. And does it run? Oh, you better believe it runs. Well, does it run? Of course it does. This one's got a brand new gear in it as well. As you know, a lot of these 260s uh, had the wrong axle grease on them, which dissolved the nylon gear, and so they didn't run. This one's got a brand new gear on it, and uh, I do that with all, the, all these uh, 260s that I get. Uh, and there's no other support on it whatsoever. It is uh, no keep alive, nothing. This is just running on its own. Here we go. And that's just with a cheap little Bachman decoder on it, so the start up and stop isn't going to be great. But no sound. There you go. And they all run like this because I test the heck out of them all. <laughs> <laughs> 